All right, I just wanted to go through the sum it up section on the chemical reaction notes with you to make sure you knew what was going on. So, for the fuel in the sum it up section, for the fuel used for the space shuttle is hydrogen, which burns with oxygen to produce water vapor um, and energy. This is a chemical reaction. Hydrogen is the, so if you look up here, hydrogen burns with oxygen to produce water. So hydrogen has to be a reactant. Oxygen is also a reactant because they burn together to produce water, which is our product. So hydrogen burns with oxygen to produce water. When it says to produce, it's kind of like a hint that the product is coming. So water vapor is the product. In a chemical equation for this reaction, a blank is used to separate the hydrogen and oxygen from the water vapor. So when you're thinking of the chemical reaction, what is it that separates the reactants from the products? That's what this question is asking. And what separates the reactants from the products is the yield sign. That's our arrow. Then what is used to separate the symbols for hydrogen and oxygen? The hydrogen and oxygen are both reactants, so you use the plus sign to separate them. Okay, match the definition with the correct type of reaction. So a substance that breaks down into simpler substances. Anything that breaks down is going to be decomposition. Decomposition breaks everything down. When one element replaces another in a compound. So you're replacing, so it's either going to be single replacement or double replacement. Single replacement, you have an element and a chemical, or sorry, an element and a compound, and an element and a compound. So that sounds like that's what this is describing right here. Single replacement. You've got an element and a compound. A hydrocarbon burns in air and forms water and carbon dioxide. So what is that one? Anything that burns is going to be combustion. Two compounds break apart and switch ionic partners. So if they're switching partners, that's a replacement. So it would be a double replacement because two of them are switching. And when two or more substances combine to form a more complex substance, that is our synthesis um, reaction. List five ways you can tell a chemical reaction has occurred. So this is where you've got the smell, change, um, you've got a precipitate, precipitate formed. You're going to have, um, I love when I'm just like blanking on this. You've got endo or exo, so heat given off or taken in. You've got a color change and you've got um, maybe some light or sound given off, heat given off. What's this other one? I'm going back over here. So precipitate formed, emission of heat light. Oh, a gas given off. That's the one that I was missing. Gas given off. Okay, identify the type of reaction for each of the following equations. So use colors to circle if that helps abbreviate using these reaction types. So again, we're going to look here and we're going to say, okay, let's think. We've got a compound and it's breaking into elements. You start with a compound and you break it down. That's going to be decomposition. Here we have an element, a compound, a compound, and an element. So that is going to be a replacement, but it's got a element here. So that's going to be single replacement. This looks like a super scary formula that we don't know how to name, but then we've got oxygen with it and it produces water and carbon dioxide. 
So that's going to be combustion. Oxygen giving you water, carbon dioxide, easy, combustion. Here's another super scary thing that we've never tried. To, well, we've just learned how to name them. That's going to be like a pentacarbon pentahydride from our naming of covalent compounds. But what you need to see here is you've got one thing, one other thing, and then at the end you only have one thing all together. We must be making it, synthesizing. If everything on this side becomes one thing over here, it doesn't matter how scary it looks. Synthesis. Last but not least, we have one compound, two compounds, giving us one compound, two compound. This compound is not over here. This compound is not over here. They've switched partners, double replacement. So then you're supposed to take this and say, how are you feeling about um, chemical reactions? Hopefully you're feeling over here. If you're feeling more over here, come and see me for help.